All right, um, let's speak with Mukhtar once again. Uh, Mukhtar, good morning. Morning, David. I can hear you better now. All right, we apologize for that um, technical itch. Yes, before uh, I asked you a question, I said um, uh, the, the, new, the new norm right now is um, the work from home. Tell me how this um, is changing the narrative within the business um, industry. Wow, this is really, really not um, very, very interesting times here. Uh, we're really hoping that um, we could get um, our connectivity uh, back with Mukhtar. It's important that we have this conversation. Uh, the Work From Home initiative um, seems to be what is the current norm. Uh, most businesses have resolved to, to work in from home, which is uh, uh, the norm right now, social distancing. Uh, but this in itself comes comes with some challenges. Okay, if Mukhtar, if you're there, if you are there, Mukhtar? Yes, I, I'm hearing you. Well, sometimes I hear you when you want to talk, but I start talking, I don't hear you again when you start asking the questions. I'm sorry about that. It's a technical hitch, but I, I hope you can hear me. All right, since you really can't, um, let, let's look at this. Uh, good thing, the stock market rebounded. There was a rebound of the stock market last week. We saw about an 810 billion Naira uh, weekly gain in the stock market. Now bring us up to speed. What was responsible for this uh, positive trajectory? Uh, for a market that I've lost over 1.5 trillion to be gaining about 801 trillion is a welcome development. That's the only positive thing in the Nigerian economy today is, a, is the stock market. Well, what was responsible? I think investors are seeing value in trying to come to the market at this time to see how much they can make. And then some people have exited the market and people are coming in. Uh, I think that's basically what I think is happening to the market. Outside of that, I don't see anything um, really happening. Good price for some of the equity entries and maybe better price for them when they are going up. That's exactly what I think about the market at the moment. Outside of that, nothing, nothing news. Rather, <laughs> news that you heard are negative news. But for the first time, the only good news you hear in the economic aspect of Nigeria is this Nigerian stock market. And this is just because of good violation, good entry point for investors. Good price, you say, given to uh, low value of, 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 um, of market shares? Yes, that's exactly what is making investors come in. There's low market uh, value of market share. And investors that are coming in now are looking at the long-term prospect of the market, not the short-term prospect. I think that is basically, if you want to come to the market now, the price are good, but you have to look long-term because uh, you don't expect the market to keep going up and up, especially when the economic data begin to come in. We expect some of the data to come in this week, especially from the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics. So if those numbers come in and they are positive to some sector that are listed on the exchange, then we'll continue to see this uh, market upswell. But if they are not, then there could be a slowdown. That sounds like good news for the market. If you say uh, these are not primarily portfolio investors that are coming to the market, these are people that these are investors that believe in, in long term. That is like some pretty good news for the market. Yes, because what we are seeing, I think, is indigenous investors that are actually playing the market. But how long, how much fun these indigenous investors have to stay long in the market is another thing altogether. And again, you're looking at indigenous investors, you're looking at high net investors. Those are the people that are moving the market now. The foreign investors are still sitting on the fence waiting for to see whether the violation of the currency and other things is going to turn out positive for them before they come into the market. And if you look at the import-export window, you can see that there's been a lot of outflow instead of inflow. So, um, and the exchange rate at the import-export window is still about 384 naira for a dollar. So it's still good price for them, but they think that going forward with the drop in oil crude price that is still hovering between 15 to 20 dollars per barrel, they see good. They still see that the naira may be devalued. And when you look at the statement that was credited to the CBN government or the statement he brought in last week, also point to the fact that uh, we might see further devaluation of the currency. So, and I think that's what most of the foreign investors are waiting for. You know, we saw the financial service um, industry 
you know, contributing about 82.82% to, to markets and activities, uh, followed by healthcare industry. Uh, and then we now also have uh, the consumer goods industry leading transactions at the store at the, at the, at the bars. Tell us exactly what this means. Okay. For the consumer goods services, I think their are, are upsurge we could do with the news that the um, government is paying um, 5,000 naira to, I mean, between 20,000 naira to poor homes so they are able to go to the market to buy goods and services, also to buy goods that will last them for the next two weeks. I think that could be responsive. That's responsible for the consumer um, sector um, impressive run. That you see for the air sector, you know why it is there. It's one area that the government is going to concentrate. It's one area the CBN is giving a lot of attention to. It's one area that the 50 billion CBN intervention fund will focus over 80 percent will be focusing on that sector. So investors are keen in for the long term when this result begins to come. For the banking sector, I think it's more about all about the banking sector is about low low valuation of those um, equity, especially looking at the results some of these bank posts. To last year. So investors are in the banking sector for the long term. I'm looking at good fundamentals. And if you look at um, equity that have been moved in the banking sector, you see equity like the, the tier one banks seems to be the one that are moving more because of the impressive year end result and they were able to pay dividends. So investors are looking at that going forward. But this could be short lived any moment from now when we see the first quarter result come in and based on this COVID-19 epidemics and other things, maybe it could turn out that investors may begin to look at, oh, maybe it's not as fantastic as we think. Do you, sh do you share any optimistic sentiments for this week? Well, uh, <laughs> going this week, I don't think so in terms of news that we're expecting this week. We expect the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics to come up with news, and some of this news is not going to be positive. We expect inflation to still be high. We, we expect exchange rate volatilities to, to still come up there. Uh, we expect to see um, consumer um, com, um, consumer also looking at high high inflationary rate and also the violation of the currency and job loss. Oh, I, I don't see any good news coming in this week. Uh, from 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 the economic aspect, the only good news we we, we we have seen over the economic aspect. Also, you need to look at the news, positive news coming from G20 that they will be debt relief for us from China. That said, definitely they will look at their trading partner and give some of those debt relief. And those things came in early last week, and I mean late last week and early this week, just between today and um, over the weekend. So that is playing into the market now because the market is actually greening at the moment. Is trading over is gaining about zero zero point seven nine percent. So that is showing that's how it's playing out. But when we see the news from the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics coming in, then uh, I, I I don't know maybe it could affect um, the market also. But going forward, I still believe that the market is going to recover necessarily because the market have lost about one point five trillion. So recovering about eight hundred and one one billion is still just half of it. So we expect that in the long term, the market will recover, especially for stock with strong fundamentals. All right, Mukhtar, thank you so very much. Before I let you go, tell me, what's the experience been like working from home, which seems to be the new narrative uh, for the business climate? <laughs> it has not been so. It's, it has been exciting in some ways that uh, nobody walks into your office anyhow to access you. You are just here on your own. Try to keep your phone away from you and enjoy yourself. The other thing is that the children want to come in, they want to play with you, your 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 family want to have time with you, your wife seems to be asking you, why are you always spending so much time out here, not coming out to play with us? So <laughs> it's it's mixed feelings, but it gives us time also to spend more time with our families, to know our families very well. And um, it's, it's just that we, we, we have just done our holiday. It might not be necessary for any of us to ask for any holiday till the end of the year when the wall is open. <laughs> do, do you think um, that work from home could be the new normal for the business climate? Definitely, David, I think so. I think so because I believe that there's going to be job loss and I believe that there's going to be reduction in um, earnings for people, especially when some corporate organization will say that, look, you can actually work from home. You have to reduce your pay because that means you will not be paying transport. Then 
the, the workers will begin to think uh, between um, having a job or not having a job, having a job that I have to work from home, even if at the end of the day you might be able to provide those, you have to provide those infrastructure for yourself. But I think the new norms is that we may see large companies, major companies, especially the multinationals, and most conglomerates telling their uh, staff that you may have to take a pay cut and work from home. All right, Mukhtar, thank you so very much for talking to us. We appreciate your time with us. Thank you so very much, Mukhtar Mohammed, an economist.